There you can see the first fighter to enter the Thai fight ring tonight here in Nakhon Sawan, Samuel Toscano from Italy, also known as the smart guy, 33-year-old from Guisano in Italy. I hope I pronounced that right to anyone listening from Guisano. 178 centimeters tall with a professional record of 37 fights, 23 victories, 14 losses, and no draws. Did fight back in April against Samingdet here on Thai Fight. Did pretty well in that fight, however, did lose to Samingdet. And now introducing the hometown boy, fighting in the black corner, of course. Gong Gai saw Job Thai. His real name is Man Kong Sip. He's 25 years of age, 179 centimeters tall, from right here in the Konsawan province. He's had a total of 139 fights, 99 victories, 35 losses, and 5 draws. Nakhon Sawan province, otherwise known as Pak Nam Po City, is an ancient city with a long history. It is situa situated centrally here in Thailand and is the origin of the Chao Phraya River. There are many beautiful places to visit here in Nakhon Sawan. Many temples, ancient sites, and of course, some delicious local foods to sample. Nakhon Sawan, of course, uh, translated to English, the heavenly city. And I think it's fair to say they got it right. Very happy to be here, of course. And of course, Gong Grai, he's going to be very happy to fight in his own home province. But pressure, though. Absolutely. A lot of pressure against the veteran Toscano. Of course, uh, Gong Grai. Samuel Toscano actually translates to ruining the party. <laughs> <laughs> Thai Fight organized this event with strict COVID-19 procedures in place. All fighters and indeed staff were tested for COVID-19 before entering the grounds of the stadium by medical personnel. And here we go, start of the first round of our first fight of the evening. Thai Fight Nakhon Sawan. There you see already giving a big push kick there, the fighter in the black corner, Gong Kai. As I was going to say, Gong Kai, he came here with a lot of family members, as he should, being his hometown. But training oh. out of um, Song Jumping Thai Gym, which is not too far in um, Utai Tani province. Solid overhand rights there coming in. Oh, but a, an elbow attempt, and then he got caught with the left one, Toscano, and a spinning back elbow coming in. Wobbled early on there, Gong Kai. Yeah, problems for. Conkrite, he's got to just stay alert here, try and weather this storm. We absolutely did not think that was going to happen at all. I mean, Gongkai, the first fight he fought here in Thai fight was against um, Long O, who was fighting in the, in the fight after this. And he took many heavy shots from Long O until eventually being knocked out, of course, in the second round. He did. Beautiful push kick once again from the hometown boy, Gongkai. And Samuel Toscano still coming forward. Showing that he deserves to be respected here in the Thai fight ring. Yeah, Conkrai did look maybe overconfident starting this fight, and Toscano, well, he just showed what he could do. Absolutely, but maybe that's just pressure, of course. Yep. Being in front of your family and friends here in your home province. I should probably also mention that this is a card shirt fight, so it's not easy to defend this of using only rogue hands. The takedown there from Conkrai. Not at all, of course, the card shirt takes it back all the way to the Ayutthaya Kingdom. Documented by Simon de la Lubert. And here we are keeping the tradition alive. Good solid knees there from both fighters. Both now wary, both now aware of what their opponent can do. That high kick there. Yes. Spin again from Toscano, he loves to spin. It's fair to say that we've seen Gonkai, well, let's put it this way, his legs were turned into spaghetti, let's put it that way. <laughs> Once the opponent, oh. he definitely felt Gonkai's power early on as well. Samuel Toscano, but still swinging for the fences. Good knee there from Gongai as they both get tied up into the ropes. Back to the center of the ring they go. Oh, Toscano say. skipping a jump, but I'm just waiting for him to spin again. Fair to, fair to say, throughout this entire... Oh, I'm not sure what he's trying. Oh, throughout the, most of this round, it's been Toscano who's been the aggressor. I mean, ever since uh, Gongai felt that power that he can... Uh, he can really give to his opponents. Yeah, I really thought after that initial shot that Toscano threw that it was going to continue with those types of shots, but he's, I don't know, it's been a little bit lackluster. Starting to spin as well, like jumping nothingness. Improvising, I think, is the best way to say it. <laughs> Good knee there from Toscano. End of round one. Interesting. Stay with us here for Thai Fight. Up on to one. Well, that was that left hand. Caught, Hong Kai, flush. Then after that, Toscano sort of backed off. 
Kong Cry was the one who was pushing. And pro Toscano wanted Gronkai's respect. He got it, but then later on sort of just hung back a little mm. bit and started doing a lot of spinning techniques with um, no, no avail. Left high kick there from Conkrai. And there's that left hand coming in again from Toscano. And again. Beautiful nice shots there from Samuel. Yeah. Look, he's looking to spin again. Yeah, good combinations. That left hook followed by a low leg kick was really well timed. That's the sort of techniques you want to see more of. The unorthodox technique. I mean, it's fair to say that Gongkai has a lot more experience than Toscano has, so maybe he has to use the surprise element to beat Gongkai here tonight. Yeah, just connected with a flush knee there, did Gongkai, and saw a grimace on the face of Toscano. And a nice high kick there from Gongkai, but receives an elbow. Samuel now trying to push forward, and he received an elbow for his um, efforts, and trying to go for another spinning technique. Left hand, left uppercut there from Toscano. It's hot here, it's got to be said. It must be tiring. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> don't think there's any wind in sight at all. Good body shot there from Toscano. But just early on there, a beautiful lock there from Gongkai. Of course, clinching being a very important part of Muay Thai. Gongkai can do that just fine. Nice, solid right uppercut there from Toscano. Gongkai not having his own way here in this second round. I think it's fair to say, though, that Gongkai is much well versed in, in, in the clinch. Maybe that's something Toscano should try to avoid. Of course, easier said than done. Nice right hand there thrown from Toscano, but a beautiful left from Gongkrai. Toscano doing very well though, trying to count, counter back. There is a cut somewhere. I can see some blood on the side of the head on of Toscano. I'm not sure where it's coming from. Oh, uppercut there from Toscano. There's that uppercut again. Times on the road now, Toscano, but looks quite comfortable there. It's okay just for Konkai to continuously attack him and try to counter any sort of offense Konkai has thrown. Konkai still being the aggressor, still being the one pushing forward. Beautiful. Of course, here in Maximo, oh, sorry, here in um, Thai Fight, they prefer the forward movement. As a ghost of the past, has suddenly appeared there, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Toscano is very unorthodox. I think that's frustrating, Conkrai. Look at that. I mean, where does that come from? Good body kick there from Conkrai. He needs to put out more shots. End of round two. Well, another round in the books there for both Conkrai and Toscano. Difficult to separate the two. Gonkrai was the one who was throwing the better technique, so I'm assuming the judges are going to give it to him, but that's kind of, oh, it's, it's the ear that's bleeding, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is, the left ear. The but yeah. shot can uh, cause a lot of damage. But absolutely. Third and final round. And just as you said, the more crisp techniques are coming from Gonkrai, just like that kick that he's just thrown just now onto Samuel, oh. another one. Beautiful right high kick thrown there from Gonkrai, but hands coming in from Toscano and... Maybe a finger in the eye ah, there. Ah, I'll see, yeah. Of course, things like this can happen, especially in a cut chip out. Oh, another right high kick there from Conkrai. Samuel Toscano getting to the clinch just hasn't worked for him all match. I'm not sure why he keeps trying to go back to it. He's been, he's been taking, so I'm not sure how many has actually connected. Guy, of course, doing very good defensively. Shutting down any sort of offense coming in from Toscano and countering beautifully, just like that right kick that connected very well. I think in terms of success rate, it's that left hook that's been doing well for Toscano. But he seems to abandon that and seems to, like you said, go for those spinning techniques. I'm, I'm seeing a pattern. Oh, beautiful running downward elbow. Seems to connect. Seeing a pattern though from uh, Toscano's offense. He starts off with swinging for the fences and afterwards tries to go for them <laughs> spinning techniques. Back into the clinch he goes once again. That's Kano this round being the aggressor, doing a very good job with that as well. This means there's thrown from the Italian. Right high kick there from Conkrai. Been looking for that, what, four or five times now throughout this fight, but it's been blocked by Toscano. 
However, it will score with the judges, of course. Beautiful technique. I mean, you know what they say with techniques. If, if they work, keep doing it. Yes. But I haven't seen it work once. But then again, we talked earlier about the element of surprise and how effective it can be. A swinging hooks there again from Toscano coming in. But perhaps it's not a surprise for Chung Kai anymore at this point of the fight. You gotta love the determination from Simon Toscano still pushing forward. That's the sort of aggressive aggression you want to see here at Thai Fight. Tom Cry happy to back off now. Thinks the, the job's done already. You can't be too confident with that. It's a three-round fight. And every round here at Thai Fight is scored. So Kong Kai really has to be careful. Trying to go for a spinning technique of his own though, Kong Kai. He's learning from Toscano, the master <laughs> yeah, is huge. Absolutely. Well, there you have it, folks. End of the third and final round. We will go to the judges for a decision. Stay with us for that decision and for the rest of the amazing card here at Thai Fight. <laughs> The winner is... Who's in a cup of tea? Yeah. Fight night, guys. Khao or dam? Khao or dam, guys. Oh, Gong Xie, this. I'm not Khao or dam, guys. Who's in a cup of tea, guys? Come on. Yang, guys. Yang, guys. Day, guys. Gong Kai Son Jo Pieng Un Choi. Second fight of the evening, and there you can see the brave Adriano Silva de Oliveira from Brazil, 178 centimeters tall, with a professional record of 57 fights with 36 victories, 20 losses and one draw. That nickname never been so apt, as he is a latecomer. And not only that, he's not a replacement for anyone, he's a replacement for the Beast, the Hulk. And of course, there's his opponent in the black corner. He goes by the name of Nong Oh, Shaw Ha Payak. His real name is Mr. Adison. Kam Kun, 21 years of age, 174 centimeters tall, from Payao province in northern Thailand. With a total of 231 fights, 181 victories, 40 losses, and 10 draws. Of course, not all he's nicknamed the Warlord of Payao. The Warlord from Payao, the Payao Warlord, there we go. <laughs> Got there in the end. Now, translating it from uh, Thai to English. Second bout of the evening in the white corner from Brazil, Adriano Oliveira. The black corner, Nong O, Shaw Ha Of course, Nong O undefeated since he's been here at the Thai Fight promotion. I think he's won 3-3 three three by knockout. Yes. So no, the, we know, don't we, that the boss of Thai Fight is big on Nong O. Thinks this. Has potential superstar in the making qualities. Oh, absolutely. Perhaps the second coming of Tendon, he says. And he's been fighting out here, fair to say. Beautiful, hard, powerful kick there from Nong O. You've got to say, a lot of fighters, when they come into a tie fight, they take quite some time to adjust to the tie fight format. Yes. I don't think Nong O had any problems with that whatsoever. No, his style suits tie fight down to the ground, and he has, well, he possesses two sledgehammers as fists. Absolutely, and he's continually walking forward, trying to bully 
Adrian Oliveira, but Adrian Oliveira making his nickname count, the Brave. The only thing about Nongo that you would say is that he is quite easy to hit, and we have seen him go down here at Tie Fight once before by flying knee. But he gets back up, he wasn't brings out those sledgehammers, and then it's just all over. The power of the boy is ridiculous. But it's got to be said, Oliveira's doing well right now. But here comes Nongo! It seems like the more Oliveira gets hit... Here comes Nongo! The more Oliveira gets hit, the more he wants to attack! Absolutely incredible there from Adriano Oliveira. But Nongo, he's the same! It's that right hand. Of course, he saw it from his fight against Gonkai. Earlier in Tai Fight Lampang. Once he got hit, he wants to hit back even harder. And that's exactly what he's doing again! Oh, there it is! There's Adriano the Oliveira! Bambi legs! Nongo going in for the kill! That might be all she wrote. Adriano staring up to the heavens. What a solid hand there from Nong O. Oh. And that's all she wrote. The Warlord does it again here at Thai Fight. Nong O got Hakayak with another victim. Four fights, four victories, four of them by KO. Absolutely amazing. Just one more step to start him. As Michael Chabello once said, this boy has muscles on top of muscles. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> but this is what he does. We have seen him. First round, takes the time to get adjusted. Then he brings out those right hands and people just can't cope. It's initially a hook, I believe, that caused Adriano Oliveira to wobble. And of course, it's a hook once again that finishes it. It's not always technically pristine, it's not always beautiful, but my goodness, does it work. Hook to the temple there. The equilibrium breaker. He did well to stay on his feet that time. Absolutely, but, but there you go. You stay on your feet, another attack's gonna come, and here we see the last hook that did it. Bam! Just around the ear, and that will affect your balance. Stay with us, folks. More to come here at Thai Fight. Next on the agenda is the female bat. La push and now the winner is No Oso Happy! Leap line and not all see crank big gap home, so rub size and no owner crank the thing. So John and I have to be able to have no opening. And they can see Angela Chang. 30 years of age, originally from New York in the US of A. 160 centimeters tall with a professional record of 38 fights, 25 victories, 10 losses, and three draws. She's currently ranked number four in the world by the World Muay Thai Organization, but that is at 50 kilograms. This fight will be taking place at 53 kgs. One and only female fight here this evening on Thai Fight. There you see her opponent in the black corner, the Kian fighter, Vero Vo Rujiratwong. 15 years of age, 164 centimeters tall from Mumbai, Shan State in Myanmar. She has a total of 32 fights, 13 victories, 2 losses, and 17 draws. Of course, she is a bronze medalist in the 2015 C Games, or the Southeast Asian Games. There, of course, with a very good record back in Myanmar, fighting in left way. I'd like to assume that she ran out of opponents there, and that's why she's here in Thailand now. I think that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks. In the white corner, Angela Chang from America. And in the black corner, Vero Vo Rujarawong representing oh. Myanmar. Of course, we've seen Vero fight here a couple of times. I believe three fights now. All victories. Yep. Two by knockout. It was her debut 
her only fight that she didn't get a knockout. I believe her last two fights ended within the first 30 seconds. Yeah, she uh, she had a couple of fights, didn't she, didn't she against uh, Dan Kong Fa on, uh, is it Moi Hardcore or Super Champ? That's right, um, it was Moi Hardcore. And already starting with a bang, the fighter in the black corner from Myanmar, Vero. And Angela Chang keeping oh. her guard up yeah. on the defensive. Looks like there's an issue with the right eye of Angela Chang already. Early on into the fight. Vero started very fast, very quick. Good overhand right there from Angela. That's what Vero always does. She wants to start the fight early, bringing that left way style to the Muay Thai ring here. Absolutely beautiful start already from Vero, already showing her opponent, Angela Chang, what she is made of. You can see their size difference, definitely. Definitely there. Good body shot there from Vero. She's work, been working hard at Tiger Muay Thai. And of course, Angela Chang training out of PK Sunshine Muay Thai gyms, so both very big gyms. Very well-known gyms, of course. Good knees there from Vero, pushing Angela back, being the aggressor. Angela trying to weather this storm early on. Angela Chang now trying to be the aggressor, trying to push forward, but getting pushed kicked back by Vero. Getting attacked once again. It's not easy being on the offensive against Vero, because Vero doesn't like to be on the defensive. There's no way. Good knees though there from Angela, holding her own in the clinch. Watch the jab though, the left jab of Vero. Just setting up other things. There it is again. I think it's fair to say there that again. Angela Chang has already lasted longer than Vero's last two co opponents combined. Angela looking for that left hook. Good uppercut there from the fighter from Myanmar. She's definitely been working on a boxing. You, oh, you definitely. can see that, can't you? There it is, that left jab again. Looking to dive in. Good left hit to the body also. Putting lots of things together and lots of different level changes by Vero. Oh, solid right shot to the body that time. It was a three-piece combination she threw also. But those hooks coming in from Vero look so dangerous, and Angela Chang doing a good job of staying on her feet. Wow, incredibly quick. Chang survives, though. End of round one. Perfection. Excellent execution, I think they say. Vero, stunning, great work. Amazing boxing skills. Coming from all sides to attack Angela Chang, but fair play to Angela. You can just see that right eye there, Kevin, just closing a little bit. Absolutely. Definitely caused by one of the hooks that, or one of the many hooks that Vera has thrown at first round. And it makes sense when you've got hands that are just covered in rope. It's her hands, it's her movement. She moves. Not only is she very sound offensively, but Vero also very and defensively sound as well. Just use that left hand just to pour, pour her opponent away, and then she sets up something. Almost seems like it agitates Vero that Angela Chang is still on her feet. Angela Chang Good showing right that hand she's and a left kick there from Angela. Showing that she's no pushover, taking the fight to Vero in the second round. And looking for knees. Trying to make this fight more dirty and frustrate Vero. That was, that was quite interesting. Angela Chang went in initiated the clinch and Vero wanted no part of it. Maybe that's what Angela Chang needs to do. Yeah, you can see Vero's trying to pour, like I said, with that left jab because she doesn't want that clinch. Angela, if she does want to get close though, you do risk getting caught with something and with Vero, it could be something big. Oh, and you see it. Vero can throw from short distance, long distance. She can throw from anywhere. And you see her throwing some vicious elbows as well. And that was what I mean. Angela just caught there with that left, that left hook, but she's in the clinch and she's throwing good knees to the body of Vero. Smart tactical play here from PK Sanchai. I believe that's exactly what Vero needs to nice do. Nice right shot. Clinch. Good body shot there. Oh, overhand left though from Vero. Better say it's a much better round from Angela Chang so far. Good low kick there from Angela. Angela just keeps on walking and something Vero's not used to. Her opponent's trying to walk her down. Very good block there from Angela Chang, and it seems like Vera has slowed down a little bit she now. Has. I was just about to say the same, yes. Yeah. She came out of the traps in the first round. Very quick, maybe she's gassed a little bit. Definitely a very different fight, but Vera doesn't have that power. And she's starting to swing and miss things that she wasn't doing in the first round. And here comes Angela. Good body kick there from Vero, but again, here we go in the clinch. Into the clinch once again, and, I, and from what I've seen, Angela Chang has the upper hand in the clinch. Very exciting fight now. And of round two.
Well, a very interesting round indeed. The first round was clearly zero, showing off for everything that she's been learning at Tiger Muay Thai. But I can't say that second round, Angela, I think she grinded out that round. I think she moved into the clinch. She did take a few shots from Vero, but she slowed Vero down. And Vero wasn't half as, as forceful as we saw in that opening round. And Angela did actually connect with a few good knee strikes. Maybe she took the round. We certainly think so, don't we? It could be honest. the case. It could be the case. Of course, the official scorecard. Angela Chang might have got that second round. But of course, here in the third round, after a long break, maybe Vera will come out swinging. Well, and according to the unofficial Kevin and Aaron scorecard, it's one all. So win the round, win the fight. Yeah, it's very important now this round, this third round here. And let's not forget, here in Thai fight, there are no draws. Good right hand there from Angela. Good solid right kick to the body though from Vero. Maybe she took the second round off so she could explode out the traps in the third because that's exactly what we're seeing right now, Kevin. Oh, absolutely. I've got to say, Angela, Lee's doing some, right? Angela Chang excuse me, doing a very good job in the, on the defense there. I don't think I've seen Vero's offense not connecting as well as it usually does. Yeah, good solid strikes again there from Vero. And she was level changing like she was doing in the first round. Vero backing off. She doesn't want any part of that clinch, does she? No, absolutely not. She's just doing a very good job in that clinch. And I gotta say, no matter what the outcome of this fight is, we want to see a rematch either way. Angela, the only fighter, I believe, a tie fight who has managed to walk down Vero. And maybe take a round. Oh, absolutely. Oh! Spinning technique just missing there from Vero. Angela Chang saw that coming. Good body strikes again, though, from Vero. I really like the way she punches to the body. You don't often see that in Muay Thai. It's very rare. Absolutely. I mean, Underutilized technique, a beautiful spinning back elbow, a back fist there. Did that connect flush? It was difficult to see from that angle. And taking the back of Vero. He's trying it once more. Good elbow there from Vero, but here comes Angela once again. Maybe she's just run out of steam this time. See, I'm not sure if you can see on the camera, but on the left side of Angela Chang's body, <laughs> very red indeed. There's that spinning, spinning back fist once again. A right smile there from Angela as the third and final round is over. We will take it to the judges. A great fight. These females, they equipped themselves well, showcased some great skills and all the facets of Muay Thai, including that clinch. We'll see what the judges say. Don't sit, sorry, stay with us here at Thai Fight. The winner is Vero Orujirawong from Vino! Congratulations to Vero from Urujiwa here at Thai Fight. Still undefeated. In the white corner, who's there is Mojanov otherwise known as the Machine Gun. 22 years of age from Uzbekistan, 178 centimeters tall. Professional record of 44 fights, 31 victories with 12 losses and one draw. Well at in MMA, I believe, and also boxing, but also has a pretty decent record in Muay Thai also. Not bad for a 22 year old, Kevin. But he's going to add on to that experience that he's gaining very rapidly, I would say. Because here's his opponent in the black corner, Sayok Kumpamuak. His real name is Sakna Niamhom, 38 years of age, 173 centimeters tall, from Pisanalok province. A total of 
328 fights, 277 victories, 49 losses, and two draws. Of course, Sayoff comes here with a list of honors in his career. WMC Super Lightweight Champion, Rajana Nun, Super Lightweight Champion, Thailand Welterweight Champion, Lumpini Stadium Super Welterweight Champion, Fight Fight Champion, of course, as well. This is Cup Super Fight Champion. And the list goes on. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't name them all. But name some of the very key ones, of course. And we have to we have to also bring up, not that we want to, his last win here at Thai Fight against the Jordan Watson, which was unbelievable. It's fair to say that. Destructive. So you turned back the clock in that fight. He did. It was absolutely amazing to see. And he's at his lowest we've seen him in weight for a long time. He was 72.5 kg, now he's at 72. Back in 2014. Oh, oh my, goodness. my word. Snapping jabs there from the machine gun, but all of a sudden, a bazooka came out of nowhere and knocked down Uzair. Warning shot, it might be. If you blinked, you've missed it. My goodness, Sayong is on a roll. Back on form again. See, he's going for those jabs again. Sayong staying very oh. calm and composed. Good left high kick. Dexterity shown there from Uzbeki. But here comes the Sayong there looking for his famous and famed left elbow. Better say that Sayo did not take too kindly to that spinning technique by Uzier. Is pointed off. Superman strike there attempted. Spinning, spinning back kick one more time. Might the target that time. Absolutely, and maybe Sayo would have felt that one. Is pointed off still on the back foot though, and Sayo trying that to make it pay for it. Again. That's right. That's where you don't want to be. Not against Sayok, no way. Try and stay as far away as you can. Strike from distance. You can ask any of Sayok's opponents. The last place you want to be is at the end of an elbow on Sayok. And he tends to do that once you're stuck on the ropes. Yep. And he doesn't mind taking a shot or two to get close towards you. And there he's throwing those back elbows again. Who's there coming up and throwing Sayok away? Not a bad tactic, to be honest. Very defensively sound there from Ozir, though. Very impressive that he's managed to defend those big elbows coming in from Sayok and managed to push the legend away as well. Sayok on the warpath. Is Mojinov still on the back foot? Still content with defending the shots coming in from Sayok. But he takes a little bit too many there. Oh! Has to go down for the second time in this first round. Remember in Thai fight, three knockdowns and you win the fight. That's two already. <laughs> It's fair to say though, he's pointed off, he's done a very good job until he's received those knockdowns. Just the pure power and velocity that Sayak possesses. There he's going in with that right hand again. Clinching up now, was Mojinov, and good time in that clinch as well. Looks like he was in a little bit of trouble, the young man from Uzbekistan. Just trying to box his way out of trouble here. Good knee there from Sayok, and a left elbow. Sayok sprinting over, oh, and a right hand! As he was jumping in, and another left right. Sayok could not have that any better, and... And it's all over, both. three knockdowns in a round. Exactly. And the referee has to call it, the rules of tie fight. Mojinov looks pretty surprised about that, but he's been told before the fight. That's how it works out here in tie fight. But once again, a very impressive performance. We're heading down to 70. They're looking better <laughs> than ever. Let's take a look at the handiwork from Sayok. Even though Uzair was trying to duck and weave and bob out of the situation, Sayok was able to find him. It was that right hook that did it. And then he just moved in for the kill. That right hook, once again, extremely deadly from the South Park fighter. Oh. Homing missile, he knows exactly where his opponent's going to be, and boy, does he strike quick and strike hard. Let's take a look at that. John, once again, is that elbow very famously done by Sayok. I think it's fair to say those who've been watching Thai oh. fight over the years know how deadly those elbows are, and now we've seen his hooks, how deadly they can be as well. Ah, left and right elbows. Just when you think you're safe, all of a sudden. Right, it was the left elbow, and the hook coming in there, straight to the jaw. 
Uzair had nowhere to go but down. And there he jumps in for a flying knee. He got clipped with that right hand. What timing again by the 38-year-old Sayok. I think it's fair to say whoever Sayok's next opponent is, you better watch out for that right hook. Seems like he's peaking. <laughs> That's without a shadow of a doubt. Sayok looking better than ever. Looking forward to see what he does next here on Thai Fight. I got Pusana Dega! Sayok Pumbangu from Thailand! I say I like the colours of the Moncon DX. <laughs> In the white corner, Mikhail Amiri from Iran, 22 years of age, 180 centimetres tall, with a professional record of 32 fights, 23 victories, 9 losses, and 0 draws. Quite a few Iranians starring here tonight at Thai Fight. Now here introducing his opponent fighting out of the black corner. He goes by the name of Githi, Sotong Man Nakhon Leong. His real name is Dinapop Sai Chon, 22 years of age, 182 centimeters tall, representing Jantaburi province in the eastern part of Thailand. He has a total of 97 fights, 86 victories, 11 losses, and zero draws. Of course, he's a four-man tournament winner in Padia, 2019 Thai Fight Kachuk champion, and of course, a 2020 Thai Fight Kachuk champion as well. Going up in weight, 75 kilograms, was previously, what, 70, 72, he's going up, growing up, 22 now. Both fighters in the ring, 22 years of age, makes me feel even older. <laughs> <laughs> Big crowd here at Nakhon Sawan. People not only sitting in the ring, ringside area, but also around. Not an empty seat in sight. Of course, it has to be said though, we um, we often remember Sanchai's undefeated streak going all the way up to 60 fights. Now, I'm not sure how many fights Kitty has won in a row, but it must be a massive amount. True, very true. I have to go back and look. Even before signing for Thai Fight, of course, Thai Fight has seen his talent. Made sure he's on the show and he's done a fantastic job ever since. In the white corner from Iran, Mikhail Amiri. And in the black corner from Thailand, Gitti Sotoman Nakhon Rayong. Gitti, of course, um, we've seen him throughout various three round circuits, let's put it that way. I don't believe I've seen him. Lose once. Says here in his record that he does have 11 losses. Mm. Has been taking the distance a couple of times here at Thai Fight. But yeah, like you said, hasn't lost and did win. Just was unable to knock his opponent out. Well, whenever he's lost, I haven't seen it. So it must be a long <laughs> yes. time back. Beautiful start there from Gitti early on. Of course, what we know about Gitti is that he likes to start extremely fast, just like he's doing right now. Yeah. Like, let's take it to his opponent early on. Ruthless and reckless. Sometimes trains out of Venom Muay Thai as well, likes to train there alongside PTT. I believe he trains there most of the time, actually. Yes, yeah. Seems like both fighters just testing the waters early on. Mikhail Amiri and Gitti. Both fighters in tremendous shape. Oh, good one-two combination there coming in from Kitty. With that chin from Mikhail Amiri is solid. Another right kick there from Kitty going towards the body. Trying to take uh, Kitty down, but gets taken down himself. A little overcut there from Kitty. Of course, Kitty, a two time Thai Fight Tournament champion, perhaps. He might add to his list at the end of this year. Oh my goodness! An elbow from hell! <laughs> Absolutely. Amazing from Kitty. Out of absolutely nowhere. It seemed like Amiri could take any single shot that Kitty was throwing, but that elbow, no way. You know, Thai refs are the best in the world, right? And they can see when something's happening. They usually jump down and catch the head. Even the referee was surprised by that one. I mean, you could get the flash to be the referee. He would not have caught that. It's true. <laughs> no way. 
But Kitty was going in with that right kick and then trying to follow it up with the right hand. But this time, flash, right elbow, right on the button. Oh, we've got to see. Went Am Amiri. We've got to see a replay yeah, of that. I'm waiting for the replay. <laughs> Absolutely. I want to see it one more time. So there you see Amiri taking care of. Oh, goodness me. Oh, and then his head. Just... Of course, there was the hand to the face that really distracted Amiri. And... See the way he just grabbed the arm, did Kitty, moved it out of the way so he could then bang, smash the elbow. Just above the cheek, was almost on the eye. That landing just seemed as hard as that elbow. Oh. My goodness. Oh. You are not getting up from that. No way. Instant lights out. And that's why you just can't sleep on Gitsy. He will punish you for any Wrong step you take. Congratulations to Kitty once again here at Thai Fight. But those who are not natural, this is the winner of this day. I want to announce the winner of the fight. The winner! Kitty Soto Dan Rio! ด้วยนะครับกับผู้ชนะนะครับระยองหรือว่าขุนศอกทะลวงปันจบด้วยศอกจริงๆด้วย Welcome back to Thai Fight, folks. In the white corner from Finland, Ari Savalainen, 35 years of age, from Finland, 183 centimeters tall, with a professional record of 39 fights, 24 victories, with 13 losses. And two draws. Been around the Muay Thai scene for a long time. Would it be uh, fair to say, Kevin? Yeah, we've seen him fight in a couple of places, including uh, Lumpini Stadium quite recently, actually. We'd like to see Ari Pekka Sovlenen here on Thai Fight. Don't get to see many fighters from Finland competing at Thai Fight, so it's a nice change. There's his opponent fighting out of the black corner, coming from the legendary Glyn Mee family, Sutsakorn Sokin Mee. His real name is Somkin Mee, 35 years of age, 182 centimeters tall, from Pattaya City, Chumri Province, Thailand. There's a total of 319 fights, 274 victories, 42 losses, and three draws. He's the 2013, or the first ever, Thai Fight Kachuk champion, after a win against Sayok Pumpumong. And uh, 2007, uh, the Fairtex Tepercet champion. Okay. A while back, before he made his name for himself. Yeah, recently uh, re signed with Thai Fight. Performed very well in his uh, first outing back. Let's see what he's got here tonight. Oh, definitely. And it was a much more serious Shutsa Kun than the last bout we saw him. I think we might see more of the same here. Beautiful low kicks there thrown from. It's a going after a beautiful combination. Well, on our last bout, we saw two 22-year-olds going at it. This time, two 35-year-olds. Could be more fair oh. than that. <laughs> Sneaky low kick there from Sutsukon. It looked like he was going to pull the trigger on a right hand, and he went low. There it is again. Sutsukon loves to fight like that. He loves to put the hand combinations together and finish off with a low kick. There's that low kick again. Any fighter doesn't block the low kicks from Sutsukorn, he will make them, he will punish them without a shadow of a doubt. We've seen it on countless occasions. The left hand there, and a the right hand coming in from Sutsukorn, and again, Another timing it to perfection. Beautiful hook there thrown from Sutsukorn. He must have been watching Sayok's fight early on today. <laughs> Maybe. Still pushing forward, Sutsukorn. Looking for that one, too. We saw um, his brother Sinsamut earlier here today, so we know he's around ring stage, ringside somewhere. Oh, definitely. And, and of course, another product of the Lin Mee family. And of course, you've got to include um, Rampa Sumdead, MC Pok there as well. Some very popular fighters within that one family. Beautiful combinations put together there from Sinsamut. Now he's doing a good job staying on his feet and tries to attack back, but receives 
Another big right hand from oh. Sissakorn sulking me. Solid right hands there from Sissakorn. And then combines it with a low kick. Oh, Ari just not hitting back. He really needs to do something if he wants to get something out of this round here. I like that from Sutsukon, going low, switching levels. Looking for an elbow. Sutsukon looking like he's having a lot more fun in the ring right now. There's that right hand again. He's done so well to connect with his hands. I'm just impressed by how well his boxing has improved. And it's maybe fair to say he's had Ekapop as a trainer now. Ekapop saw me once. What a time. I think the doctor's going to have to take a look at the nose of uh, Sabalainen right now. It doesn't look that bad, but... Should be able to continue, but we're not the doctors. Unless we can get a camera, there we go. Yeah, says okay. It's okay. <laughs> I've got to agree with him with my very little experience of being a doctor. <laughs> Zero is the answer. Oh, there's a slight cut on the top of the head now. Just where the doctors just checked. Yeah, good body shot again there from Sutsu Khan. Yeah, big body shots, and I believe Sutsu Khan will start going to the body now. That is how that he seems how Auri has reacted to it. Nice sweep there from Sutsu Khan, and it could be really demoralizing to get up from those sweeps. And the round one. Oh, hobbling back to the corner. Bloody and beaten. We'll see you in round two. from the first round. Sutsa going connecting very well with a lot of hands and a lot of good combinations. Of course, going for some of the, some fantastic low kicks as well. Ari just avoiding that elbow, but not that one. Ari, of course, in the very first round, cut in two different places from what I've seen. That must be the second cut. Here's that fantastic sweep that we saw towards the end of that first round. Quite impressive. Um from Savalainen to be able to stay on his feet and not get Absolutely, I think it's fair to say that Sutsa Khan took that first round without doubt. Of course, unofficially. <laughs> no, <laughs> you can write that one down, that's okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Inside kick now to that damaged leg of Savalainen. Nice right hand there from Savalainen, actually connected, but Sutsa Khan did not like that oh, one bit. He's, and he's hobbling on that left leg, Kevin. Sutsa Khan's just gonna go for it. He's just taken far too many low kicks, and if you don't block those low kicks, Sutsa Khan is going to make you pay. He's going to continue punishing it, and why yep. not? The referee, referee yep, yeah, have, having referee. a good look. Oh. It, it was only in due time. I think that's it, yep. And that's a KO victory in the second round for Sutsa Khan. Very impressive Sock again. Me, yeah. once, once more by Sutsa Khan. As I said, it's a very different Sutsa Khan from what we used to see before. His combinations are connecting, he's putting his hands together well, and those low kicks. The success rate on those are amazing. But I think what you stated in the first round about the improvement in his boxing was what was able for him to throw those leg kicks at will. And then ultimately, that did the damage. But very impressive again, once again. By the returning, the legend, a little bit of that handiwork, or should I say leggy work, in that second and final round. I mean, when he was going back to the corner in the first round, we could see that he was on one leg. And as they say, it's difficult to win on one leg. You've got to say, very well done for Sutsa Khan for understanding that he's taking up punishment. He doesn't need it anymore. And what best way to, to malign him for just dropping to the floor as well and realizing that's it. Enough to know. Absolutely. It was only a matter of time. Those low kicks are absolutely lethal. And you won't be able to see it on the camera, but he is hobbling backstage right now with the help from uh, a couple of the doctors.
interesting, isn't it? Sayok looking amazing, and now Sutsukorn as well, rolling back the clock. They both definitely did. Maybe we can see a rematch, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but 10 years in the making, yeah? <laughs> Absolutely. Happy as ever. Sutsukorn! The winners! Sutsukorn Sockling Me from Thailand! Of course, you guessed it, Iran. And there you can see the first Iranian fighter of the, no, the second, should I say. But in this part, Mojtaba Talebi, 19 years of age, wow. 180 centimeters tall with a professional record of 33 fights. 24 victories with nine losses and zero draws. Now introducing his opponent, finding out the black corner. He goes by the name of Borata, or Lujibawang, or PTT, Borata His real name is Wan Chalum, Bang Dan Bang. 24 years of age, 178 centimeters tall from Padia City in Chungri Province, Thailand. He has a total of 159 fights, 129 victories, 29 losses, and one draw. Of course, some of the honors in Potato's career, or PTT's career. <laughs> Either will do. <laughs> exactly. Isuzu Cup champion, the 26th Isuzu Cup champion, in fact. The Isuzu Cup super fight champion. The Thai fight champion in 2016, with gloves, of course. The Thai fight cut shirt champion in 2017. He's achieved a lot here already in his young career. Mm. Only 24 years of age. Trains out of Venom Muay Thai gym in Pattaya. Has a great relationship with Nabil. Yes, he see does. Playing on TikTok, having fun in there. And of course, we've seen him, Nabil in his corner in the high five between Tani, in fact. That's correct. I mean, Nabil, what a tower. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you couldn't miss him out. Maybe a future Thai fight star? Who knows? <laughs> All right, boys and girls. Mojtabi Talebi from Iran in the white corner. In the black corner, PTT for Richard Wong. I'm trying to think back to, to think if there's ever been anyone as young as uh, Talebi. 19. 19 years of age here in the Thai fight stage. I wonder if the nerves might get to him. Maybe PTT's new flame. A very big supporter, <laughs> that's for sure. Without a shadow of a doubt, PTT gets things started early on with some beautiful hands on his Iranian opponent. Watch Tavi there, standing tall. They didn't seem to have a problem with that whatsoever, but the big right hands now coming in from PTT once again and a nice low kick. Right high, sorry, left high kick attempted there from Talebi. Oh, and he's down. Things seemed like it was going all right for Talibi. And it's all over. Another quick knockout victory for PTT by Wujirawong. And Talibi is sat in the corner. He's riding in pain right now. A lot of pain. As is the effect PTT has on his opponents. PTT definitely not a stranger to finishing the fights early. And we saw exactly what he's capable of right there. Well, short but sweet. PTT does it once again here at Thai Fight. And a new haircut to go with another knockout in the ring. You know what? I, I, I have the same feeling as that. It didn't even look like he connected 100% on that shot. But there's enough power in there to knock a man down. Oh, well, from that camera angle, it definitely connected yes, 110% it and you can just ask to leave, but he's in a lot of pain right now. Props to Venom Muay Thai and uh, Medi Zatout and Coach Diamond doing a great job on PTTs. He's looked amazing since he came to Thai Fight, but even more so now, Chris Boxing. Yeah, definitely not making the same mistakes as he used to do back in the past. A lot more cautious on his defense as well. 
And as you can see right there, still offensively sound. All right, folks, if you've just joined us, this is not the last fight of the evening. We know Sanchai does like to headline these events, but not this time. Peng Nung will be coming out later because he is a Nakansa One native. But as you can see right there, Sanchai's opponent, Ali Gutratsi Sariskan. Did I say that right? Been practicing all day. 25 years of age from Iran, 175 centimeters tall, with a professional record of 51 fights, 30 wins, one coming here at Thai Fight, 19 losses, and two draws. Definitely a very big task for the Iranian native because he's taking on Sanchai, PK Sanchai Moisai Jim. Real name is Super Chai Sanpong. 41 years of age, 163 centimeters tall, from Mahasarakam province in the northeastern part of Thailand. Has a total of 335 fights, 324 victories, 29 losses, and two draws. And the list of honors that Sanchai has got just goes on and, just on, and on and on and <laughs> on. <laughs> Tell the people at home what they want to hear. One of the few people to, one of the few fighters to win the Sports World Association of Thailand Fight of the Year award. Sanchai, he's won it twice. Uh, the Lupini champion in four different weight divisions. And he's won the Pachuk title for Thai Fight 2016. And he's won the Thai Fight belt for the Thai Fight tournament three years in a row. Of course, not many other fighters have won the Sports Riders Association Thailand Fighter of the Year award twice. Han Payak being the only fighter who's won it more than once, and he's been on Thai Fight. Before two. Yep. Last on Thai fight as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Then you have um, and one now some Rit. Believe won it on 2000, in 2003 and 2004. The other one being Gansok Soplinchit. Back in the 80s. What a fighter he was. Now a trainer in the United States of America. I'm being just to know if I know Sanchai only won. I think it was in 99. And then around 2007. I believe he's the only fighter who's not won it consecutively. Okay, so I was about to say two uh, different centuries. That's, that, is, that is correct. <laughs> that is, is there correct. anyone else who's done that? Plus the the, the, the the amount of years, the gap difference. I don't think anyone can compete with that either. No, it I, shows I, how 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 amazing he's been throughout all these years. He should have won it more more than two times, in my opinion. But there you go. Okay, there you go. Yep. Those going strong at 41 years of age. But I did mention briefly that Ali has actually won here at Thai Fight. Oh, yes. And in his last fight against Suksawat, I think he knocked down Suksawat maybe two times, it was? Once in the first round. <laughs> agree, to, agree to disagree. I, I was there as a spectator, so <laughs> saw everything. <laughs> it looked like twice to me. Absolutely. To roll that tape back. Let's have a look. All right, folks. Penultimate fight of the evening in the white corner from Iran. Ali Gutratsi Sariskan. And of course in the black corner, Sanchai PK Sanchai Muay Thai Gym. Yeah, we saw Ali Gutratsi Sariskan one win by KO in Thai Fight Lampang. I believe it was in the second round. Very, very... Mm. Good with his hands. Amazing very, very performance, good. yeah. But this time, glove, not card check. Will that play a difference? Let's find out. Oh, right high kick. Straight away there. One is shot to Sanchai. Huge kick to start the things off for the Iranian fighter. Headhunting. There from Sanchai. Still quick on his feet, as you can see, after all these years. Speed to throw many wars, Sanchai. The matter goes through an, a, a, another one. I can't remember how many fights he's won in a row now, but all I know is that it's definitely over 60. Can Ali Gudrati Saraskan be the first one to stop that? Well, so far, so good. Oh, beautiful right hand there. Sorry, left hand from Sanchai. Sanchai may take 
struggling with his opponent's offense quite early on, but I don't think it takes him long at all to figure his opponent out. You see it on countless occasions. Just missing on the low kick there. Sai Chai with really fast speed, but his opponent there managed to stay on his feet. Still, we're trying to walk down Sai Chai. Yeah, beautiful right body shot there from the Iranian. Yeah. But Rati Saraskan is doing a very good job of just walking forward, not giving Sai Chai any space. Receiving a left hook there, though. Trading kicks. Good body shot there. Nice left hand from Sai Chai going for the axe kick. Cyrus Khan just getting out of the way. And a very nice left hand there from Sanchai, who's definitely feeling the groove right now. Straight into the clinch they go. Saw so Ali attempt that right high kick a few times now. He's not been far away. Oh, not at all. He's done a good job of holding his own in the, in the first round. Beautiful inside kick there from Ali. So we're going to miss there from Sanchai. Another miss there from Gold Rossi Saraskan. Sanchai looking for that body shot. Ali trying to go in with an elbow within the clinch. Doing a very good job, Ali. Oh, solid right knee there from Sanchai. Take the wing out your sails. Absolutely. Of course, nothing Sanchai's never felt before. Taking his opponent there after grabbing the leg kick. Nice well, low kick there. Very hard to pinpoint what Sanchai's strongest asset is in, in a fight. End of round one. Barely even first round. Ali pretty much set the tone with that right high kick straight from the back. And then going back and forth. It's not an easy round to judge it all. Good knee here, though, by Sanchai. Oh, it's definitely a fantastic first round for both fighters. But you just, just can't be too surprised at how good Ali's doing right now. We've seen what exactly. he's done in the previous fights on Sci Fight. Very talented fighter. The mistake he's made against Kutsawai in the previous fight in that uh, bad was. Really, he won't be making the same mistake. Well, you let's find out. You can't do the same thing against Sanchai. We've seen it all, done it all. around here. Oh, there's yes, that head kick again. Yeah, Very kick quick. On. Just missing though. Yeah. Go for the low kick and now Sanchai doing the walking while Ali comes in with a great kick to the midsection. Well done there from Ali. Swing the miss there from Ali, but good knees. Very busy fighter. Doesn't stop moving, doesn't stop working. Nice knee once again from Sanchai, who remains very composed despite the barrage of attacks coming in from Ali. Taking in another shot, though. I think Sanchai sees... <laughs> he sees that left hand and then that left body... Oh, oh my goodness. goodness! Unbelievable from Sanchai. The timing of the 41-year-old is unbelievable. The that, Sanchai... That could, be, that could be a broken rib. I don't know, the Sanchai we saw in the first round is very different from the Sanchai we saw in the second round. No, he can't. He can't do it, it's all over. Oh my goodness, I'm not joking. Sunshine in that first round, you think, well, maybe Ali's actually got a chance. Yeah, maybe. And then he just turned off, he just turned it up in the second round and he found that combination out of nowhere. He discovered that left hand was available and he threw it in knee for good measure and he connected flush. Yeah, yeah exactly, Ali got right to set. So it's gone. Might have had it, you know, we were thinking he may get the second round as well, but Sunshine. Turn it on in the second round. You know, and to be fair to Ali, in Muay Thai circles, I wouldn't be surprised if he hear his name again. Yes. Because he just got caught by a genius. That's all you can say. And let's not forget, he's only 25. Yep. Let's have a look. Oh, goodness. It doesn't get any better than That's that it. when it comes to knees. Oh, that might be the, the first time I've seen him actually throw that left hand, left knee technique. Absolutely incredible. Oh. Look, that timing covered, of that. He covered up perfectly, as you should. And then sneaky Sanchai. Timing that knee. That's just ultimate the, perfection. That's just the thing about Sanchai. He's got that element of surprise. Opponents just don't expect some of the things that oh, he's going to throw. That rattled the whole body. And I'm not sure it's the last time we've seen Sanchai knock somebody out with a knee like that, especially. Oh, my goodness. You can see the point of the knee left a little well, which I assume will be a big well in the morning. 
tell you what, no one is prepared for that. No way. Folks, don't stay anywhere. It's still to come. We have the knack on so one yeah. nature. Who's an art nigga? Sanchez PK, Sanchez Muay Thai. There you can see in the white corner, Mohammed Karim Shah, 22 years of age from Iran, 175 centimeters tall with a professional record of 38 fights, 35 victories with just three losses. Highly impressive. Will that stand him in good stead? This man. Now, let's take a look at the hometown fighter, the second fighter from the Konsa one here tonight. Deng Deng Sujay Sai Lung. His real name is Ekapan Sampun Sap. 29 years of age, 180 centimeters tall. And of course, as mentioned before, from right here in the Kon Sawan province. There's a total of 107 fights, 89 victories, 14 losses, and 4 draws. Of course, he was the Weber tournament champion back in Siam Omnoy. A while ago, of course. He was a King's Cup champion as well. He's a Cup Super Fight champion. Fair to say, a multiple time High Fight champion as well. And gets the honor to headline this card in his hometown of Nakhon Sawan. Olva Sanchai, how about that? What an honor it is. Why not, back in his hometown. I'm sure he's got family and friends out there. Oh, absolutely, and... Um, we were talking, weren't we, in the back, we were saying, with the history that Deng Nung's got, with his knockout punches, is it worth coming all the way out here? He might as well just stay at home. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> right. <saying. laughs> well, let's see anyway, if uh, Kareem Shah can make a fight out of this one he's got a tremendous record 35 fights sorry 35 victories from 38 wins very impressive indeed okay boys and girls thank you for sticking around this is the final bout of the evening Mohammed Karim Shah from Iran in the white corner of course Teng Nung to Jesai Rung in the black corner as you can see on your screen a two kilogram white advantage for Karim Shah Deng Nung training out of Fairtex in Pattaya. Every time we see him now, it looks like he's getting in better and better shape. I was just about to say, just look, look at how he's built right here. <laughs> We've uh, figured out pretty late that uh, this is his hometown. Mm. We saw him in the, in, in the car park with a lot of family members, I would assume. Yeah. I'm wondering, my goodness. <laughs> but even even on the card that we we got with all the information of the fighters, it didn't have Tang Nun as the uh, as the headliner. It was still Sanchez. So I wonder if that was a late decision. Oh, good footwork and then a right high kick coming in from Kare Kareem Shah, trying to shock the crowd and quieten them. Yeah, Kareem Shah trying to look for the spectacular, going for a head kick right away. Tang Nun maybe giving oh. one back and some heavy shots there fired from Kareem Shah. Oh, good hands coming in. Pushing Tang Nun back. What aggression! Why? Mohamed Karimi Shah. Where did that come from? Tang Nun looking for an elbow. I don't think Tang Nun knows himself. Took that elbow very well though. Karimi Shah. Oh, another good right hand coming in there from Karimi Shah. Huge combinations by Karimi Shah. What a start to the fight. The big elbow from Tang Nun, which Karimi Shah just smiles away. Outside fight kick there from Tang Nun. Outside body shot. He's looking for that left hand. Karimi Shah is connecting. Oh, absolutely. And Tengden knows it, and Tengden not trying to give him any space whatsoever. That's why Karimi Shah is in his own corner right now. And when he does get back to, into the corner, he fights his way out. It doesn't just cover up. Going for that low. He's trying to go for a spinning oh, back elbow. But that one hurt him. And down, Karim Shah goes. Perhaps not the best of ideas. Uh, what Karimi Shah trying to do there. He's trying to go for a spinning back elbow. But never turn your back on Tengden, because that's exactly what he'll do to you. This I rub. Smells blood in the water. Got another left kick to the bottom. Another left hand there from Deng Nung. Level changes. Kick for good measure. And down once again. 
knows Karim Ishar, remember, three knockdown rule. If you get knocked down three times in one round, the fight is over. So he's got to stay on his feet right now if he wants to continue. Absolutely love the way Karim Ishar started the fight, but maybe he's going to have to do a little bit more. And oh, zero for his girls. The knock on Suwan Niti does it once again. Congratulations. Bang Moon to Dry Saron. Absolutely. That's the first knockdown. I would say from, from a far distance, Karimi Shah looks like an Iranian Antoine Pinto. Just an observation. I hope Antoine's not listening, but there you go. My goodness, no comment for that. <laughs> Bang. As soon as he found the range, and this is that's always going to happen. The final knockdown, or <laughs> the actual knock knockout of the fight. Beautiful hands from Tengden. That left hand is impossible to stop. Once it connects, there's very little his opponents can do. That beautiful offense there by Tengden early on. Oh. Once he started to connect with those low kicks, it seemed like that was a game changer. Yeah, it was a great neutralizer. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Proud on their feet. What a homecoming. Oh, absolutely. And of course, as announced earlier, the next high fight. Maybe in Sisaket. It is Sisaket. For sure? <laughs> okay. That's what they've, that they've announced. OK, there you go. So Sisaket and... 20, for, June 26th. For what are you again? Sorry? June 26th? June 26th, yep. Pencil it in. Set your calendars. Take a good look, chat. Then knock out one last time. Huge oh. left hand there from Dignan to Jay Sai Rule. Time to perfection. He was even taking shots, weren't he, to get in? Yeah, he was. But as soon as that left hand was clocked, as soon as he found a passageway, right here, not here. <laughs> this one. Moved out the way, slide it to the left. Bam. Straight through the guard. Got to give Kareem Sharg a lot of credit, though. He fought the fight to Tengdung, and that's more than we can say for a lot of uh, Tengdung's past opponents. Indeed. Let's take it over to our MCs for the final decision. And just like Kevin said, we'll see you on June 26. The winner! ให้ชาวนครสวรรค์ผิดหวังเลยจริงๆ